The work I was currently working on and have been working on for the past few months has been based on um, a poem called The Torn Umbrella, in which I wrote a long time ago. And it's kind of been a poem that I've looked at for inspiration because I tend to work from looking at my own writing and then looking at imagery surrounding that and then drawing that out maybe in a drawing or another form away from a written context. You'll see that I've created three dresses um, through the exhibition, or three pieces of work that are garments, and they were all inspired by the poem. The idea of maybe chopping, chopping things up and making something new out of something old, and you'll see that in a lot of my dresses as well, um, that the, they've been made in a specialist way where I've chopped up pieces of material and re-sewn them together. And also to create a lot of uh, textile work that's been formed on my sewing machine, or hand embroidered and you'll see that body of work that's there's mainly a lot of hand stitching and machine embroidery. I was always enjoyed painting and drawing as a child and my mum and grandmother both enjoyed sewing and we were all trying to get a needle in my hand but it never quite happened and then I, but I did enjoy drawing and fine art. I was always brought a sketchbook on holiday and things like that for a hobby more than anything else. But then I went, I went to college at age 16 to do fine art. Uh, I then began to look um, at other ways of working. Having had a textiles tutor just by accident one day, she just gen gently got me into textiles without me even realising that I had got into it and suddenly I was coming home very proudly with these little bits of embroidery and my mum was saying, well, I could have taught you that a couple of years ago if you'd, if you'd want me to. Um, so it was, it was very much a progressive journey, but it took that time um, be, at, from age 16 to really realise that I was interested in textiles and not something else, uh, because as I say, I was very much involved in fine art before that. So now I tend to merge the two. I use a lot of different processes and they change within um, the years, as years have gone by and as I've become more experienced in textiles especially, my materials have changed, the ways of working have changed. So I use a lot of drawing based mediums in my work, for instance I'll draw a lot of my designs out first and then create a textile piece or I'll maybe do a painting of them, watercolours I especially favour. But also on my machine. I've got a tool called a machine, um, a free, free machine embroidery foot, which means I can draw basically with my sewing machine needle, which means that I can have a drawing beside me and then use thread and maybe a piece of cloth and literally draw whatever the drawing is, but in thread. But since then I've moved a lot into printmaking as well. So I'll look at maybe screen printing and um, dry point and things that I can include in both a textile and a fine art, uh, fine art way so I can really merge those two things together. Maybe the drawn element on cloth. Um, I use a special stuff called decolorant, which means I can paint a, or dye a piece of fabric any colour I like. And then I get my stencil of whatever design I'm using, put that down, screen print the design with the decolorant, and that bleaches out the pattern on the fabric. So you get a different effect altogether. So there's a lot of drawing and pattern based work catching bits of material together, using a lot of vintage fabrics, fabrics that have a lot of meaning. I don't particularly like to go out and buy just a piece of cotton that has no real history to it. I'll tend to maybe go around charity shops and find some bits and pieces that are vintage or even pieces of clothing of my own or families. I'll use again. Nothing leaves the house without having a second look before I see if I can use it again. Really, that's, that's my way, main way of working.
what inspires me is more to do with day-to-day -day life or life experiences, maybe looking in the past for things that have happened, um, but also a lot of family-related things, maybe looking at old photographs of family members and maybe drawing from them or creating an embroidery in them, um, about them. So there's a lot to do with more personal resources than anything. I don't, I'm not someone who's very much inspired by nature or I love nature, but it's not something that I go down that route as much. It's more to do with experiences and, and life really. And say maybe it can be anything that can inspire you, maybe going for a walk out or to a shopping centre even and seeing a particular design that I like and then that might pop something into my head. I'll come back um, and create something or draw something or write something down. So it's generally to do with more life experiences. So again, it's a lot of to, a lot to do with memories, loss, um, and really putting those into my work as a, a positive thing rather than a negative thing, really. I'm now studying for my BA in textiles now and teaching it. Um, but that's been quite a long process through the years of gradually working through different textile techniques, deciding what I liked and what I didn't like. I'm enjoying teaching textiles and fine art. I'm enjoying um, talking to various textile groups, embroiderers, guilds, things like that. I enjoy those kind of aspects of it, teaching others or being involved with others in, a, in the textile form giving my knowledge out to others and that's something that I really enjoy doing. I can't imagine it being something that I'm not, in, uh, it, that's not there anymore. It's such an integral part of me now and it always has been from a very young child so it's just come out in different ways really but I can't imagine ever not having somewhere to do art or it being with me. I mean, if I go on holiday you'll find that there's always my um, dad calls them the stealth bags go in the car, which is always the embroidery or the fine art materials. I never leave without anything, whether it's you know going to a caravan holiday or going abroad. There's always something with me to do um, in some form of art. So I can't imagine ever leaving that, no.